everybody, this is Christina, and tonight I'm making maple mashed, mashed maple spiced sweet potatoes. <laughs> and um, I have two sweet potatoes here that have um, baked. I um, baked them in the oven at 400 degrees for an hour, actually an hour and 10 minutes. And they've been cooling off, so now I'm going to unwrap them. See how sweet. And this one. And I'm going to put them in this tray. Or sit these over here. going to cut these in half. See how nice and orange, full of beta carotene. And then cut this one in half. Never alone in the kitchen. I've got company over here. Max here. See how beautiful these are? Okay, so then we take off the skin. It just comes right off, right off, so easy. And we're going to put the uh, sweet potato in the bowl. And here's the other half of that one. Rich in vitamin A, so good for you. So orange, eat by color, I always say that. And this is a cooked vegan meal. Sasha's here drinking water. I can hear her collar charm hitting up against the water bowl. Okay, this one's a little bit stringy, but that's okay. And this is one of the cooked vegan meals that I like a lot. I'm high raw vegan, but I do eat big sweet potatoes, soups, and I love tea, so. Not 100%. Alright, so now, let me see. Let me just check this. So this is the, um, these are the sweet potatoes, and... I am going to, what am I going to do first? I'm going to take the cinnamon and I don't measure anything. Like, this is just to, ta to taste. And by the way, I just did that. You can see that I love cinnamon. And then this is nutmeg. Nutmeg. Spicy, spicy. And then this is cloves. A um, little thing of cloves. Okay. And then we're going to take some ma maple syrup. 100% maple syrup from Canada. The Canadian maple trees. And pour this. Always start with a little. You don't want it, you know, the sweet potato is already sweet by itself. Um, you don't want it to be too sweet. And you can always, you know, start with a little. You can always add more. And now I'm going to just mash it with the um, masher. I guess that's what you call it. And it's so easy when they're um, soft. So this is not hard at all. I've got two doggies here in the kitchen with me. They're wanting to lick the bowl and the, I was going to say the beaters, but the masher, right? 
They know that when I'm over here on the island, I wish I was on an island. I mean, my kitchen island, cooking something. Well, I'm not even cooking, right? Preparing a meal. They know that I've got something good. So they're waiting. So, I don't know. It doesn't look too aesthetic, does it? <laughs> it tastes delicious. Need to get a spoon because I'm going to do the rest of the spoon. You could also use like a hand mixer to make this even or put it in a blender, like if you just wanted it less chunky because it really doesn't like it tastes delicious, but this doesn't really look as good as it could. So, like if you put it, if you use the hand mixer or a blender, you get it nice and smooth, it'll look um, more presentable, but you know what, it's just me tonight, and um, I'm not catering or entertaining, so um, it's okay. And now I'm going to take an orange, let me see, where's the viewfinder, the orange, orange right here, a mandarin orange, I'm going to cut it in half, and squeeze squeeze orange juice into here. Now these are mandarin oranges. You can also use sunkist, like a big orange, but the reason I like to use these and squeeze these is because there's no seeds. There's no seeds that are going to fall in. Okay, take the pulp out. Of course, make sure that your hands are clean. You wash your hands before you start this whole thing so that um, everything's sanitary. And then we're going to do this one. Oops. Yeah. If you use like a big orange, you could use like that handheld um, juicer where you put like half in at a time and squeeze. I'm just doing this old school. Try not to let this pulp fall in. So that's a juice of one mandarin orange. And that's all we're going to use. I'm going to mix that in, so now we've added vitamin A to the vitamin, no, the vitamin C to the vitamin A. I'm working on the whole alphabet here. But the vitamin Bs, the B vitamins, you have to like supplement, um, get vitamin B12, especially if you're um, vegan. The methyl cobalamin col um, formulation of that. Dr. Joel Furman has has that on his website. That's where I get mine. Sublingual. And then let's see what's next. D vitamin D. That's out in the sun, so it's like April right now. So it's the weather's getting warmer and gonna be out in the sun more for the vitamin D. And the vitamin E keeps your skin really soft. I get that in my lotions. Okay, I'm being like totally silly and ridiculous because I don't know what else to talk about while I do this. But you know what? I'm all, it's all done now. So, let's see. There it is. My mashed maple spice sweet potatoes. Not too... Um, aesthetic as some beautiful foods that I've made but nonetheless that's going to be my dinner tonight and um, just wanted to show you how I make it kind of um, there's cinnamon nutmeg whoops cinnamon nutmeg cloves and maple syrup 
maple syrup. So, raw and real video here in the kitchen. Nothing fancy. Uh, don't have a video crew. Don't have a tripod tonight. So, um, this is it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.